Coming up tonight, Christmas has been celebrated in Cameroon with clarion calls for reconciliation and peace, adoration, prayers and intensive meditation have taken place in the 10 regions of the country. The details right ahead. Thanks for watching the 730 News on CRTV and Merry Christmas. I am Moki Edwin Kinzaka in Yaoundé. Each of us must comply with the measures that have been taken. Christmas has been celebrated in Cameroon with followers joining their clergy to pray for peace in 2021. In Yaoundé, the Metropolitan Archbishop Jean Barga called on Christians to focus on Christmas as a new light that has come to heal the world. Details with Constantine Bomb. Today's celebration is about the spiritual birth in the souls of Christians and the question according to the Metropolitan Bishop of Yaoundé that Christians need to ask is what do our lives look like now in the light of this birth? Carrying the bed of Jesus in our lives will help build a better Cameroon. We have to build again our lives, our society, our families. Many families are in danger today. We are going to continue the processes of uh, building of our nation. We need peace a lot, we need organization, we need development. Cameroon has gone through a lot of difficulties, be it health crisis, social troubles, hardships and difficult conditions of life. Christmas brings to our lives a new beginning. We succeed to continue elections in peace, we succeeded to do decentralization, we succeeded to prepare as much as possible the great event of uh, nations in Africa. All these events show that it's possible for us to grow, to grow in peace and to make our country the best way, the best place of life, of the unity and the diversity. Christmas is a feast of hope. It opens up new horizons as we communion with ourselves and communion with God. His Grace Jean Barger exalted all to accept this this new life with Jesus in the year 2021. Trust in the Lord wholeheartedly, no matter the circumstances. That was the key message echoed at the Christmas service at PC Bastos in the nation's capital. Reverend Pastor Polycap Njongai exhorted the faithful to feast with consciousness of the necessity of living lives pleasing to God. Joyce Tata has the rest of that story. Moment of celebration in praises and dance on Christ's birthday. Christians of the Presbyterian Church Bastos honor a day the desire came into existence. Reverend Pastor Polycap Jongai exhorted the Christians from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, from verses 2 to 7, to entrust all their worries and challenges to God. And we are celebrating Christmas within the backdrop of so many things that have happened to us as a people and as a nation. We hope that the light of Christ that has come on Christmas is going to dispel all the darkness and is going to usher us into God's marvelous light. A message which falls on fertile ground. We are celebrating his birth, knowing very well that now we are heirs to the kingdom of heaven. Christmas believers say a moment of sharing and expressing the greatest commandment in Christendom, that of loving your neighbor as yourself. Christians of the Simeon Congregation of the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon have reiterated their commitment to follow Jesus Christ, the Savior of mankind. The parish pastor, Reverend Emmanuel Masok, officiated the church service, marking Christmas celebrations at Peace in Simeon. Ewane Epole has the rest of that story. Christians of the Simeon Congregation of the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon came together as one to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, the Savior of mankind. 
officiating at the special church service, the parish pastor, Reverend Emmanuel Masok, enjoined the followers of Christ to appreciate the love of God in their lives. The important thing is that after a whole year of strain and pain because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we have a reason to celebrate. And this celebration gives us hope in order to face other challenges in our country and to look forward uh, to the new year 2021 with a lot of determination and hope. According to the man of God, although Christ was born of Mary, he was a child of the Holy Spirit and his source was divine. Thanks to the birth of Jesus Christ, we have hope for everlasting life. Choral groups animated the Christmas Day Church service at PCC in Simeon in Yaoundé. Over in Yaoundé at the St. Benedicta Monastery, Christians celebrated Christmas by sharing with the less privileged. The celebrant Archbishop Julio Morad told the faithful to continue spreading messages of peace after all the feasting. Cynthia Saptala has the rest of that story. The Mass on the occasion of the Feast of the Nativity, celebrated at the St. Benedictine Monastery in Yaoundé, gathered faithfuls from all works of life who were told to emulate the spirit of the season, that of sharing, especially with the poor and underprivileged. After a year characterized by challenges such as the pandemic, the apostolic nuncio to Cameroon, Monsignor Julio Morat, in his sermon said there was much to be grateful for. We receive uh, uh, Jesus not only in Bethlehem, not only to have a big uh, celebration, to receive in us. If we receive in us Christ and his message, really we can have uh, peace. Many people are speaking about peace. Peace is important, but first we have to start to have peace with God. Amidst the rejoicing at the coming of the Savior, some received the sacrament of communion and were told to take home and spread a message of peace. Faithful of the Marie Goquet Parish of the APC and the Arbet Theodonian APC Parish in separate church services in John Christians to be peace promoters, Reverends Machoren Gingolo and Abe Ohanja presided at both services. Gerard Nanji, Eyembe, and Romeo Kenyi prepared this joint report. They gathered this Friday for a special occasion. The Prince of Peace is around. The celebration of nativity at the Marie Gauquet Parish is termed a moment of reconciliation and love for one another. The feast of nativity is the feast of joy because God gives us his son. The newly baptized have been told to remain steadfast in prayers and seek Jesus' mercies in good and hard times. The wearing of face masks, social distancing, all measures to keep COVID-19 pandemic at bay did not in any way hinder supplications for peace in Cameroon's... Those who sincerely believe and follow Christ. Gilbert Ongene was at the church service and now reports. Good news for mankind, for a child is born. The birth of Jesus Christ is seen here as the ultimate symbol of redemption from sins for these Christians of the Tugebe Baptist Church in Yaoundé. To make Christmas mean celebrating the birth of Christ. The Christians have been warned against embracing what was referred to as the worldly way of celebrating the feast of nativity. The significance of Christmas has been misunderstood today. According to the man of God, if God could send his only son as a sacrifice for humanity, then Christians ought to put their full trust and faith in him for a prompt resolution of the many trials and challenges faced by man today. The Christmas church service at the CBC Tugebe turned out to be a veritable moment of experiencing and sharing God's love among the faithful. Some vulnerable children have received gifts from Cameroon's First Lady, Mrs. Chantal Bia, through her foundation during a Christmas tree lighting ceremony at the Chantal Bia Foundation. An evening mass was said for God's guidance. Mrs. Chantal Bia was represented by the Secretary General of her foundation, Mrs. Habisu Bidung. Staff Lady Enagakebi has the rest of that story. <laughs> Christmas 
if celebration in a purely traditional Catholic manner took place at the Chantal Bia Foundation. The chanting of Christmas carols and the canticle was presented by artists and the choir. The Children of the Children First Center, an orphanage created by Mrs. Chantal Bia in 2002, alongside the medical personnel of the foundation, all converged at the Esplanade. Mrs. Abisu Biduk, the Secretary General, was accompanied by the members and the staff of the General Secretariat. In an inspiring homily, Reverend Father Alain Christian Mifige recalled that the birth of Christ brings joy and hope that must be shared amongst Christians. In a similar way, Mrs. Chantal Bia's humanitarian and charitable activities through the foundation serve as a source of hope and courage to all vulnerable persons, especially children. The COVID-19 pandemic did not permit Mrs. Chantal Bia to be physically present at the celebration and communion with the children, but her heart was with them. In this regard, her personal representative, Mrs. Abisu Bidung, the Secretary General, executed the role brilliantly. The children received their gifts. She was assisted throughout the exercise by Father Christmas. During the day, some vulnerable children stopped by at the foundation to also receive gifts. I thank Mama Chantal Bia for the gift. It will help me during Christmas. Thank you, Mama Chantal Bia. A child is born a son to save humanity and mankind. Yet, Christmas at the foundation was celebrated with lots of innovation. On to the regions now, and in Dwala, His Grace Samuel Kreda has asked Christians of the St. Peter and Paul's Cathedral to see the birth of Jesus Christ as an opportunity com to completely submit themselves to God. Gladys Atemba Chechuma Banda reports from the Littoral Region. In the crib of the Saints Peter and Paul Cathedral lies the baby Jesus, God made man. Given the current health situation marked by the coronavirus pandemic, the Christians are not permitted to touch the statue. They are rather reminded by His Grace Samuel Cleda to remain vigilant as the virus is yet to be eradicated. The key Roman Catholic figure on the occasion calls on the faithful to see the celebration of the birth of Christ as an opportunity to completely submit themselves to the Lord and show more love as many people have been affected by the virus. He assures them that Jesus Christ will never abandon them and that nothing will separate them from the love of God. His grace, Samuel Cleda, invites the Christians to put their trust in Christ so as to overcome the health and security challenges plaguing the country. The universal prayers said during this pontifical mass illustrate the readiness of the faithful to be architects of peace. Christian faithful in different denominations in Ebolova in the south region have been exhorted to overcome bitterness and evil with the light of the birth of Jesus Christ. The clergy spoke in separate Christmas Day sermons as Clarence as a report from Ebolova. Christians of the Saints Anne and Joachim Cathedral Ebolova lifting up their hearts and praises to the Most High as they joyfully celebrate the birth of their Messiah. His Lordship Philip Alembaga told the Christians that they must see in the coming of the Messiah God's desire to draw men closer to him. Over at the Ebolova parish of the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon, PCC, the Reverend Atum Jacob called on Christians to let the light and joy of baby Jesus illuminate their lives. The message of our parish pastor, the Reverend Atum Jacob, is clear. It's about joy, that joy came into the world anew through the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The birth of our Lord Jesus Christ makes us to forget our grievances, our problems that we have with one another, but to rejoice peace, to rejoice love. A similar message delivered by the shepherd of the Bolova Parish of the Evangelical Church of Cameroon, EEC, Reverend Thomas Ngulu Abasolo, preaching from John 1, verse 1 to 18. Other highlights of the colorful and jubilant Christmas church services were the administration of the sacraments of holy baptism and holy communion to new converts. Prayers were also said in which the Christians pleaded God to put an end to the coronavirus pandemic. 
The clergy in the East region have prayed for peace in Cameroon and the world at large as they celebrate the birth of baby Jesus. Mokam Robert Ashu visited some church houses in Betwa and put together the following report for the 730 News. Christians in Betwa filled different church houses as they listened to messages delivered on this Christmas day at the Holy Family Cathedral, where East Governor Griguan Vongo and other administrative authorities attended Christmas Mass. Archbishop Joseph Atanga delivered a message of peace. Without peace, love, and joy, there is no way we can transform ourselves and transform the world around us. So, this is a message of this nativity. At the PCC, a committee, Reverend Pastor Festus Tangi delivered a similar message and stressed on the importance of Christmas. This Christmas Day, we give a message to the Christians that Christ, our light, has come. As we celebrate Christmas, we are not just celebrating a historical event like any other historical event. We are actually celebrating the coming of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And he comes not just for formality, but he comes with light. The Christmas service was also occasion for children and adults to receive the sacrament of baptism. I'm baptized because I want to give my life to Christ. I want to be a changed person in my life. I want my life to change because now I'm born again. I've given my life to Christ. As the Christians pray for continuous peace in Cameroon and the world at large, they are looking forward to a more successful new year. Christians of the St. Therese of Jesus Cathedral, Garwa, have been called upon by his Lordship for Stern Ambassador Juju to consider the birth of Jesus Christ as an invitation for everyone to be part of God's kingdom. Details with Wilson Mengole in CRTV North. It was an atmosphere of celebration at the St. Therese of Jesus Cathedral in Garwa as many were baptized this Christmas day. An act which symbolizes the transformation of Christians, according to his lordship, for staying Ambassador Jodo, Archbishop of the Gawa Archdiocese. Through our baptism, we become really children of God and a member of the church, the large family of God. But also for families that are baptism their children, it's also a sign that they are not only human families, they are Christian families, they are part of the family of God by receiving the child that is rebirth. In his sermon, the Archbishop reminded Christians of the essence of the birth of Christ, which is an invitation for everyone to be part of the kingdom and to emulate Jesus' example. This morning we are glad to celebrate the birth of the Savior, Jesus Christ. And in the message, I wanted to come back to what we recently received from Pope Francis. The day was punctuated with choir procession, songs of praises, and a host of others. Over in Bamenda, thousands of Christians came out in churches to celebrate Christmas. They were reminded that Christmas is a moment for reconciliation and peace. Julius Neba reports from Bamenda. Clad in their new outfits made of many colors, the children who gladly accompanied their parents to the different church services say they have made big plans to celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus. I have invited my friends and my family members. I'm going to eat barbecue chicken. I'm going to eat pepper soup yam. After a church service, we'll go back home, enjoy my friends, sing, dance, take something to drink to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Encouraging parents to groom their children in the fear of the Lord, the clergy at the different churches reminded Christians that the feast of nativity is more than whining and dining. Children, adults, it is a spiritual thing first. Christmas comes to remind us that with Christ's presence in our midst, the world can never defeat us. Christ, the light, has come into the world. And no matter the darkness that covers the earth, that light will always shine. Be it at peace in Tamulung, the redeemed Christian Church of God, the cathedral and other Christian denominations in Bamenda, the men of God prayed for peace to reign in the restive regions. In Marwa, Roman Catholic Christians were exhorted to give no space to hatred and war by embracing peace. Henry Tato Ekambi reports from Marwa. Les fidèles venus par milliers se sont réjouis du don du Seigneur à l'humanité. Un grand moment où les prières s'élèvent vers le ciel, agrémentées. We are quite sorry for that mix-up there. We intended to be in Garwa, where the uh, Roman Catholic Christians have been exhorted to give no space to hatred and war by embracing peace. 
um, Vinto will not be having the reports by Henry Tato. It can be better. We move on now onto our health page and to meet Borden, some of reports are Borden, the possibility to live with the coronavirus remains a major worry for most Cameroonians. Nowadays, given that by simple infection, one gets scared of dying. Bodin Sama and his guest, Dr. Joseph Fokam at the Public Health Center will discuss the possibility of living with the coronavirus. Hello, Bodwin. You are with your guest, the doctor now. Good evening to you and Merry Christmas uh, with uh, many persons who have been tested positive for the uh, coronavirus ever since we had the outbreak in Cameroon in the month of uh, March this year. Uh, many persons have been quite worried how possible or how it, somebody can successfully live with the virus. We discuss that tonight with our guest, Dr. Joseph Fokam. He is a virologist. Good evening to you, doctor. Good evening, Baldwin. How possible, medically speaking, and how can somebody with the virus successfully live? Yes, effectively, Baldwin, this is a very important topic during this end of year period where people are going to probably mix up during the various festivity. And what we know already in the, in the Cameroonian context is that five days approximately after being in contact with the virus, you may develop fever, cough, sore throat, and other symptoms. And that's when you really need to get uh, tested. So what we really want people to know is if you have been in any particular garden during this uh, festive period, you develop any symptom like five days after you were in this crowded environment, please just go and get uh, tested. If you get tested and you are positive, be sure there is a free of charge management within our context uh, also. But remember that we have two ways of testing positive cases, the rapid antigen test and the PCR test. If your rapid antigen test is negative, but you realize you have symptoms, please ask to do a PCR test. This is also really free of charge. And in Cameroon, what we know for now, most of our positive cases, one week after their management, they finally get well and they return back to their activities. What we really want to avoid is that those positive cases, that most of them, they are not really symptomatic. They really control the virus clinically. They shouldn't go out in order to avoid transmission of the virus within our community, which we hope by the end of this year, we should be able to slow down significantly the, the epidemics. Thank you so much, Doctor, and Merry Christmas to you. And uh, the message has been sent across. Uh, one of our key messages we sent across to viewers, uh, especially on this day, is uh, the strict respect of the different outline barrier measures in order for us to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Back to you. Thanks very much, Bodwin Sama, and thanks to your guest also for being there with us. Now, in less than 48 hours, the people of the Central African Republic will be going to the polls on general elections to vote their presidents and members of the National Assembly for the next seven years. The United Nations and Central Africans look up to the elections to stop years of carnage and political rivalry. Already armed groups have been fighting to disrupt the polls. Caroline Okeanoma reports on the atmosphere in Bangui ahead of Sunday's elections. All is set for the December 27, 2020 presidential and legislative elections in the Central African Republic. Uh, MINUSCA, the United Nations peacekeeping mission in the Central African Republic, has a mandate uh, to support the electoral process in the Central African Republic. Our support cuts across the political uh, support, technical, operational, logistic, as well as security. 1,858,236 Central Africans have announced their intent to vote and 46.6 percent of those Central Africans are women. 17 presidential candidates initially set out for the post of the presidency of the Central African Republic but as of now three candidates have withdrawn and this will not change or initiate any postponement of the presidential elections. In the nation's capital of Bangui, the town is full with lots of hustling and bustling of last-minute campaigns by some presidential candidates here and there. The international community, as well as other neighboring countries like Rwanda, Russia, amongst others, have sent in troops to join the United Nations Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission, MINUSCA, ensuring that the population exercise their civil rights in a calm, serene, and secure environment. Reporting live from Bangui, I'm Caroline Okia. Come back with our Christmas report in Marwa. Remember, we failed to get in touch with our reporter. Now, Roman Catholic Christians were exhorted to give no space to hatred and war by embracing peace. That was in Marwa. Henry Tato Kambi tells us more. 
With agile dance steps and smiles that reflect joy and gratitude, the Christians of the Our Lady of Assumption Cathedral, Funange Marua, give God thanks for sending His Son to the world in flesh and blood. His Son, Jesus Christ, was described by the Bishop of the Marua Mokolo Diocese as a man of peace worth following. The celebration of the Nativity of the Lord is the invitation to live in peace, in unity, and the reconciliation. A message that the Christians seem to have digested. We hope that in following his instructions, we will be saved and we join them in, in heaven. It's a good thing to follow Jesus Christ because the one that has created us, and if you don't follow, you will not accomplish what I came to do to earth. The Christians were further exhorted to continue feasting in their homes in a Christ-like manner. In today's countdown to Chan 2021, we zoom into the ticketing commission of the local organizing committee. Modalities for the sales of tickets are already being drafted to suit CAF's recommendations vis-a-vis -vis the number of supporters expected in stadia across the country. Officials of the commission say when tickets are made available, there will be no room for late buyers. Roman Kenyi has the rest of that story. Supporters willing to watch games in different stadia during the African Nations Championship will have to scramble for their tickets as soon as they are made available at different sales points. Given the limited sales points provided by the continent's football governing body, the ticketing commission states no stone is left unturned. Immediately the tickets are available in January. Cameroonians are called upon to rush for their tickets as it will be first come. The prices of tickets bought will vary per sitting positions chosen in the stadiums. The categories you have like the presidential lodge, it will cost 50,000 francs. The VVIP will cost 40,000 francs. The VIP tribune will cost 20,000 francs. And then the one, the tribune, under the presidential tribune, it will cost 5,000 francs. Tribune B will cost 3,000 francs, and then the popular side, it will cost 1,000 francs. Then in Japuma, that section will cost 1,500 francs. While making sure CAF's exigencies are respected to the latter, concerning seat reservations, the ticketing commission strongly count on a favoring collaboration with the public as they carry out their duty. And that ends the 7.30 news on CRTV. The next news is coming up in 30 minutes. That's in the French language with Atta Badinouma. I am Moki Edwin Kinzaka in Yaoundé. Thank you for watching. In this connection, we should avoid stigmatizing. CRTV News, ici, toute l'info.